Hey guys, what's up? It's time to do a speed test comparison between the Vivo V29 versus the Vivo V27e and the Vivo V27e is powered by MediaTek Helio G99 SoC. We have 8GB of RAM while on the latest Vivo V29 we have a Qualcomm Snapdragon 778G SoC with a 12GB of RAM. On the back we have a triple cameras on both phones and the newer Vivo V29 has a 50 megapixel OIS main camera. Then we have 8 megapixel ultra wide with a 2 megapixel macro. While on the Vivo V27e, we have 64 megapixel OIS main camera. Then we have 2 megapixel macro and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. And the back on both phones is made up of glass. And the frame on both phones is made up of plastic. And the frame on the Vivo V27e it is completely flat versus a rounded frame we have on the Vivo V29. On the bottom, we have our USB Type C. Also, we have a single speaker on both phones. No dual speakers even on the latest Vivo V29 which costs 1 lakh and 60,000 PKR here in the Pakistan market. And we also have IP68 water and dust resistance versus IP52 we have on the Vivo V27e. So I am very excited to show you that how is the Snapdragon 778G inside the latest Vivo V29 is going to perform against the Vivo V27e which has a Helio G99. So without any wasting time and now let's quickly boot both of these phones up at the same time. Logos came up first on the V27e and both phones is running on Android 13. We have Front Touch OS version 13 as well. Also Vivo V29 it is a 5G phone because of the Snapdragon 778G. So looks like the V29 is going to be the fastest one. Yes it is. Vivo V29 faster when it comes to booting up. V27 it is also right behind there. We only have a 3 or 4 second difference between these devices. Guys now let's talk about the displays between these devices. On the Vivo V29 we have 6.7 inch Full HD plus AMOLED to 1 billion colors. Also we have 120Hz refresh rate while on the Vivo V27 we have 6.6 inch Full HD plus AMOLED with the 120Hz refresh rate as well. Also we have a center punch hole on the top as you can see on the Vivo V29 we have a 3D curved display. This is a flat display we have on the Vivo V27e. And guys 7 is closed up in the background as you can see no application is running in the background. Also we have same Wi-Fi network on both phones. Now let's opening up the phone dialer and that is exactly the same and now let's open settings again faster on the v29 let me go to the display and now let's go to the refresh rate so we have 120 hertz refresh rate on both phones we also have auto option but in my usage auto option it is not really optimized so i prefer all the time 120 hertz mode and now let's open amazon shopping with same wi-fi network so the v29 it is a blazing fast and scrolling wise absolutely smooth on both phones not a single difference between these two devices. Also, you can see at the bottom chain it is much smaller on the V29. Also, and keep that in mind, Vivo V29, it is a much more expensive phone as compared to the Vivo V27e here in the Pakistan market. Now let's open that. And that is very similar. And now check out some games application. Now let's see that how is the Snapdragon 778G is gonna perform against the Helio G99. Now let's see Candy Crush Sega. Candy Crush it is done on the Vivo V29 we only have one second difference. Instagram slightly faster on the V29. Let's see pin out. Again slightly faster. Now let's open Snapchat slightly faster. Spotify slightly faster on the V29. Service Suffer another game. Qualcomm Snapdragon 778G versus Helio G99. So we have two second difference. Also we has also we have single speaker on both phones. Let's see temper and two. And this time again Vivo V29 is taking the lead once again from the Vivo V27e, which is expected of course. So in the temper and two, we have three or four second difference. And now let's opening up the PUBG mobile and this is a big game so let's see how much a difference in this game. 
So Vivo V29 it is done as you can see and the V27E now it is also done again we have 3 or 4 second difference also in that game we have smooth graphics with ultra frame rate versus a smooth graphics with extreme frame rate so as far as the gaming performance are concerned it is much better on the vivo v29 and now let's open x and that is about the same and now let's open z and z it is open up slightly faster on the v29 scrolling as you can see no issue whatsoever 120Hz it is a silky smooth on both phones and last time I'm launching the cameras on both phones default camera application now let's see which one will open the camera faster so both phones is open the camera at the same time as far as the cam performance are concerned in my opinion the cam performance it is slightly better on the vivo p29 and also get the front facing camera so here's the front facing camera looks like and the front facing camera it looks exactly the same on both phones although we have this little wider option okay guys now let's see internet browsing speed so i am using chrome on both phones also we have same wi-fi network wikipedia and that is about the same scrolling again as you can see no issue whatsoever same thing with zooming out and next on the list is the apple.com apple.com it is open up slightly faster on the vivo v27e i did not expect that scrolling wise no issue whatsoever and the helio g99 can handle these things very well and now let's see ram management on both phones and we have 8 gp of ram on the vivo v2070 versus a 12 gp of ram we have on the latest phone dialer still there settings amazon shopping let's see candy crush saga so refresh on the v2070 instagram still there let's check out snapchat spotify subway suffer subway suffer is cut refresh on both phones so we also have one refresh on the vivo v29 temper and two still there in the memory pubg big game and that cut refresh on both phones which is did not happen in my last speed test if you see that x still there zedge and last way back to the internet as you can see internet browser and guys over up to say regarding the apps opening speed as you can see that and the vivo v29 is taking the lead in every single application most of the time in games because in games we constantly have a three or four second difference between these devices yes we have a price difference between these devices and that is why i make this video so in terms of the ram device in that area and the latest vivo v29 is performed excellent in the ram management in my last speed test and the ram management it is not really decent even on the vivo v27e and now let's talk about the battery sizes so on the vivo v29 we have a 4600 damage battery size with 80 watts super fast charging while on the vivo v27e we also have 4600 damage battery size but we have 66 watt super fast charging and that's about it and thank you so much for watching this speed test comparison between the vivo v29 versus the vivo v27e and do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and follow me on instagram as well as on x and i will catch you in my next video peace out